The Mysteries of Mind. 29. Preksha Meditation, Five Principles of Mental Training. The fundamental principle of Preksha Meditation is let the soul see itself, see your own self. The system of meditation adopted by Banagavana Mahavira is based on perception. The soul and the body, although they are basically distinct from each other, are not distinct in practical life. Breath, body, speech, and mind are made active by vital energy. The vital force is the diffusion of the Taijasa body. The Taijasa body is driven by a still subtler body called the Karma body. The Karma body is made active by the soul. Therefore, perceiving the soul means perceiving the vibrations of breath, body, vital energy, and karma. Kayot Sarga is the first step in the process of self-perception. We know the value of the activities of the body, but we do not know the value of the inactive body. That is why our muscles become tense. Suspension of the activities of the body is a means of escaping from such tension. When the body is relaxed, breathing becomes slow and the fickleness of the mind is reduced. Kayot Sarga serves two purposes, it, it well as physical and mental diseases. The second step is freedom from infatuation. It consists is, it consists is wakefulness, conscious de devotion to truth and mental discipline, as well as in ba, bhavakriya or the rational coordination between actions and the mind. False consciousness in and indiscipline make our consciousness dormant. The seeds of all kinds of grief are sown and sprout when consciousness is dormant. Freedom from infatuation changes the very course of our life and opens new horizons of joy. Generally, our deeds and our minds do not run parallel to each other. When the body is doing one thing, the mind remains busy in other things. This results in a depletion of energy. Baha, Bhava Kriya stops this depletion. Bhavana is the third step. It increases the vital force and strengthens the will. A strong will does not allow inclination towards material pleasures to become effective. Resolution is the key to all kinds of success. The fourth step is anupraksha or contemplative accessment of perception. It is a useful exercise in removing self-negligence and the contam contamination of the body by the consequences of social relations and indulgence in material pleasures. It concentrates the process of thinking on a single object until a state of experience has been arrived at. It develops tolerance, and the purity of heart preksha is the fifth step. It activates the body and the centers of consciousness, enables us to perceive and know the internal structure of the body. Perceiving long breathing improves physical and mental health. It activates the taijasa body and stops the fickleness of the mind. It removes poisons from the body and reveals to the practitioner the subtleties of the mind. Body perception means watching, understanding the ever-happening changes in the body enables the practitioner to become to come face to face with substance by studying its modifications. It means perceiving the chemical changes in the body and to be convic convinced that the body and all that is in it are empirical. It is the process of proceeding from the perishable to the imperishable. It means watching all psychological happenings and the feeling of pleasure and pain with a dispassionate mind and to make a distinction between the body and the soul. By perceiving the centers of consciousness, we can establish our mastery over them and employ our energy in bringing about chemical changes in the body. Then comes the perceiving of the ever-happening vibrations in the body, mind, and breath. These vibrations can be increased by means of subtle prana and reduced and stopped by restraining the flow of vital energy. Counter-vibrations can also be produced by means of bhavana or suggestion. 
Both purity of thoughts and thoughtlessness are useful in perceptive meditation. Change in the frequencies of breathing and its vibration brings about a spiritual revolution in us which brings human relations on a new footing. Preksha meditation is the meaning of development, developing four states of mind. 1. Wakefulness. 2. Bhavana. 3. Thinking. 4. Perception. False consciousness and the fickleness of the mind and body are caused by our lack of willing interest in truth and moral discipline. As our existence undergoes continuous modifications, we become deluded by external agencies, suggestion, and speech, and change ourselves in the light of these influences. Attachments and aversions arise in our minds if our mental states are favorable to them. And this applies to our thoughts also. Our thoughts determine our perceptions. When we become involved in sense objects or feelings, thinking and perception also becomes involved in them. This is the main cause of all problems and miseries. The practice of fraction meditation breaks our torpor and makes the mind wakefully attached to truth and moral discipline. Such a mind cannot be deluded by anybody. In this respect, the mantras or charms are very useful. We employ charms to remove mental and physical diseases. We can make ourselves pure with the help of bhavana, which can give us mental and physical health. When consciousness has been roused, holy feelings rise in our minds and make our thoughts realistic. With such thoughts, we proceed to perceive the soul. Feelings, thoughts, and perception become immersed in consciousness and the mind becomes free from attachments and aversions and neutral. It stops reacting. This is the way to get rid of all problems and miseries. False consciousness makes us indulge in sense pleasures. This happens at the level of the unconscious. We become deluded by the waves of electricity, energy flowing through objects the fingers, eyes, and speech. This happens at the level of consciousness associated with bhavana. Our mind establishes conscious relations with objects and men, seeks that which is beneficial, and renounces that which is harmful. This cannot be done with until we have freed ourselves from delusions and caused by feelings. We engage ourselves in freeing thinking. This happens at the level of consciousness associated with thinking. We are not satisfied with the external forms of things and try to comprehend their subtleties. This happens at the level of consciousness associated with perception. Having made the unconscious conscious, we employ the power of perception to self-perception. Consequences of Preksha Meditation 1. Balance between action and inaction physical balance. 2. Mindfulness towards the ideal synthesis of action and thinking. 3. Development of willpower and determination. 4. Direct perception or experience of truth. 5. Development of the state of being a spectator. 6. Development of consciousness, consciousness free from reactions and the sense of neutrality and equality in all situations. 7. Mental balance. 8. Feeling of equality in conduct and politeness in behavior. 9. Synthesis of Contradiction between the individual and the, and the society. 10. Manifestation of super mental consciousness. 11. Freedom from passionate indulgence. 12. Er eradication of diseases produced by tensions. 13. Formation of a men mentally and physically healthy personality. 14. Thoughtlessness leads to concentration, which trains the knowledge tissues and muscles. Preksha meditation is a natural and simple method of mental training and of making the mind conscious and roused. This is the end of the book, The Mysteries of Mind.